um, you know, little towns outside of Manila wouldn't really have a scene because I feel like these places don't really have jams or, you know, workshops that the legacy brings. So I feel if it didn't come, I feel like the scenes in these different areas, like rural parts of the Philippines, wouldn't be as developed as it is. I mean, it's still growing, you know, it's still not there yet, but um, the potential, there is potential here in these places. And I feel like the legacy definitely helps these kids who don't have much or, you know, they're not in touch with like the, the main scene here in Manila. Um, being so far away, it, it would be hard for them to grow. You know, so the, what the Legacy Tour brings is something special because, you know, Cliff sacrifices a lot just to um, give the opportunity to people here who don't have much. So, um, yeah, if, the, if it wasn't for the tour, you know, I really don't think there would be much or even a scene here um, in these parts, you know, in the Philippines. So, um, yeah, man, the Legacy Tour is doing something special out here, um, bringing everybody together, educating people on you know, um, hip hop and not just hip hop, but like um, unifying everybody. You know, people who from different parts of the world coming to the Philippines and meeting new people, uh, making new friends. You know, like for me, it's my second time on the tour and I've met so many different people, made so many different friends, um, and something I never thought I, I would do, you know, here in the Philippines, especially because I'm a Filipino, I was born. You know, in America, I was really distant from my culture, but coming on this tour really opened my eyes, showed me a lot about um, the Philippines and where I'm from, and it's really something special, man. Like, this tour definitely, there's nothing like it. There's nothing like here in the Philippines. There's nothing like here. There's nothing like here. There's nothing like here. at your own risk man why drivers and pedestrians yo what's yo what name what's your name Armski yeah where are you from man Canada yeah where are we heading out to <laughs> up Batangas I think yeah yeah what's up why not what's, what's up? up I'm so paos what's up what's bro up? Mario nice Arbsky. to see you man traffic and stuff like that but we're gonna make it heading to Batangas. Batangas. <laughs> Oh, 
the own cloud. Oh shit. Um, so, we had problems with the scheduling because of the freaking traffic. And I, most of the students already left, I think, an hour earlier. And there's no one to, to attend the workshop. Plus, most of the studios and public parks that we have here are already closed because tomorrow is election day. We came from Manila, how we could compete in Batangas, but then left on the state. <laughs> <laughs> so, and, this, and then the studio closed, so we had to leave. We're on the way home, we saw them in Jollibee. So, we're all here. <laughs> We don't have a venue, we were in traffic for like 7 hours. Uh, we just got to Batangas, which is it's like 7.30, like 5 hours past the time we're supposed to be here. Uh, there was a fiesta, summer traffic, uh, we had to pick up like 20 people on the way. <laughs> so, And now half the people going home and we're going to go do the uh, seven Smoke in the dark somewhere at a park uh, with no hardly any music and one judge, which is me. The other dude left. Peace. Oh, we're here to have a battle right now at the park because uh, we couldn't get the venue and it was too late, so we're here now. from Batangas. Uh, I joined Legacy 6, 7, and 9 before. I was able to qualify up to top 16 last like Legacy 6. But the reason why I competed there is just for me to bring the b-boy scene here in Batangas. But it seems like there's no one continuing it and I don't want to like when I get old there won't be any b-boys here. So my job here right now, why I'm here right now is that I want to see the real thing so that I could share that to the people here in Batangas and eventually they will realize how much being a b-boy is it's one of the best things that you can ever do in your life so I want to thank uh, New Image Y Clifton for doing this this guy is amazing this guy deserves a spot in the record books he should have his own uh, hall of fame he should be there this guy is amazing what he's doing is not a joke, so hopefully everyone here in Batangas, in the Philippines, will support this guy. And more power, thank you so much. So last night, yeah, we did like this cypher, seven to smoke, um, on the concrete, and uh, they surprised the hell out of me with the stuff they were doing. I had no idea they were that dope. They were doing like some crazy power moves, Flow, like sick transitions, like, dude, they were just doing some dope stuff, man, and it was like unbelievable. It was so close. Everybody was like on the same level. I mean, that was like one of the best battles I've seen so far in the Philippines. And those kids are nasty, dude. It's props to the winner. That guy was super sick. And um, yeah, I was just surprised, man. Those Philippines is like on top, man. People need to like recognize that. So, so where it's at. Peace, legacy. Hi. Walter Mark. For? Walmart. <laughs> For the uh, legacy 
Kabanatu one, the Hanese, right? Yeah. Uh, qualifier. Bye bye, Siha. Bye bye, Siha. We'll see what the big boys got. Upstairs or downstairs? Is upstairs? Yeah, it is. Whoa. Yeah, over here. Kabana Tuan in the house. Represent. We're going to do the workshop for now. We're going to do, uh, we're going to separate the groups. So, one group will be with me. The other group will be with Mario. And then, we're going to do 30 minutes. Then we're going to switch groups, okay? Cliff, I'm like, hey, you know, do these kids go to school or, or what are they doing? Where are their parents? You know, and I was kind of surprised how everyone just kind of stuck around after the jam. And, you know, all these kids were asking me questions. We're all just hanging out, which is great. But, you know, it kind of got me thinking, like, you know, like, where are the parents? Like, what's going on here? Like, are, are, are they being educated? Are they being taken care of? People in Cabanatuan is the street children. And just seeing their lifestyle and how they live, you know, it kind of... You know, it kind of gets me in the heart, you know, it kind of makes you feel like, man, you know, I, you know, me being here doing the <coughs> workshop and, and teaching these kids and everybody, it's actually doing more than what I really think, you know, because they, they have nothing out here. And even just this little bit of knowledge that I'm giving them, it's, it's giving them the whole world. So so how how does it make you feel to teach the kids out here? You know, I feel I feel blessed. Feel blessed. Feel blessed. Feel blessed. You gotta catch like three trikes to go to the uh, bus terminal because there's no taxis out here. Yeah, no taxis. This is the taxi right here. Jay Funky and Mario. The the what? Drop them someplace else? You think the tricycle? I think so. Maybe in another terminal. <laughs> <laughs> so Jay Funky and the Mario probably got dropped off at some other else because we took the three different the separate tricycles. So the guy dropped us off at the bus. And we were waiting there for like 20 minutes looking for you guys. And apparently you guys were over here while we were over there. So we're like, the guy was gonna leave us. And we told him to just make another round and good thing we did because then we found you. Because yeah. we were about to we were about to board the bus already and leave you guys. So yeah. we weren't sure. We have our own tour. Yeah, the bus <laughs> is like leaving already. Bro, 
at this right here. This is premium right here. Just for us. That's how we do it. You know what they call that? They call that VIP. <laughs> Better than the bus. We get better. Most definitely. Bro, this is legit. I run a private bus now. The jitness, bro. This is the jitness. Yeah. Better, way better than uh, being a public bus. Astro Park for the Pampanga Skills Qualifier. Right now, we're kind of late, but not really. It's gonna be all right. All the b-boys and b-girls are waiting for us, so we gotta hurry up and make it. Crazy power moves. Crazy power. They got some good power movers here. Um, Pampanga's dope. Uh, I love these guys. Yeah. Always connect with these guys, man. Yeah, <laughs> me too. Homies, so can't wait to see them again, man. Peace. As they say every year, go hard. Go really hard, like you have nothing to lose. Yeah. 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 So go and uh, represent here, Astro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Pretty dope, man. They're, they came really hard. Um, uh, the skill level is like up there, especially on the power moves and uh, power styles. So, um, I'm trying not to sleep on a lot of cities out here because the movement is just so. Uh, the skill level is just so high now. So we're very fortunate back at home because we have masks, we have places and studios and gyms. Yo, but these guys out here, they practice on hardcore concrete, getting down all of the hardest moves and breaking. And that's amazing to me, you know. So we're heading out to where? Uh, vegan. The weather is uh, what, like, heading out the way? to vegan. The weather is, uh, looks like it's about to rain, like, really hard. But. It's actually a break for us because we've been tortured from the hot days.
this video after this video. Here, like, come on. How's the ride, man? It was cool, man. It was a six hour ride, but it felt like four. Four. <laughs> Yo, what's up? We're here in Vigan. Vigan in Locosur. It's uh, checking out the scene. It's very, very hot out here. Um, yeah, peace. Legacy 12. Oh, there we go, there we go. Growing up, um, there are some little boys, little girls uh, practicing b boys. It's okay. Hey. Come on inside. Yeah. It's a b boys here. Yeah. really exciting to have here the b-boy workshop especially in your mates joey base hoy um, it's really appreciating thank you so much sir clifton everyone for the opportunity coming here in vegan i really like it i must probably all my crew and all the people here it's very nice to practice a b-boy so thank you Squishy Mario. What's up, Ruby? Wow. Mario. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet 
Oh wow, we just arrived in Pasukin and it's a uh, it's a dope place. It's gonna be hot. It's very hot today, so we're gonna be teaching these kids. How uh, hot? I don't even know how hot it is. It, it feels like a bit right now, <laughs> but uh, this is the spot right here. Well, we're thank go. you, thank you. We're gonna... It's really hot. He's really hot. <laughs> I'm hot right now. Uh, we're gonna go teach these kids right now, so uh, stay tuned. More kids this time. Last year there wasn't that many kids. There's only like three of them that showed up. So uh, definitely shows that the scene is growing out here. So uh, yeah, they learned a lot from me and Mario. So hopefully they'll take it up to the next level and we'll see how they do in the future. Yeah, um, it was dope. It's the first time I've been here um, meeting the B boys and uh, definitely a lot of potential. Um, they're still you know in the new beginning stages, but. Uh, Hopefully after this workshop, you know, we can come back next year and um, they'll definitely, hopefully they level up by then and uh, take what they've learned from today and uh, made it their own and, to, you know, made it better. So, yeah, it was a successful uh, workshop here in Pasakin and uh, on to the next, the walk. How this dance is going to value their life, not just, um, you know, becoming the best b-boy in the world or b-girl in the world. You know, I mean, that's cool too, but... Uh, that's not really what this dance is all about. It's actually about, um, you know, improving yourself as a person in life. So, you know, what breaking teaches you is that hard work and effort will give you the big payout in the end. So a lot of the training that we do, a lot of the, uh, a lot of the time spent and put within your practices and sessions, you know, it, uh, it teaches you that, you know, uh, that everything, a lot of things in life are, is perspective and, and it's all in your head. So the more you work, the more hours you put into anything, you know, the more, the, the, the bigger the, the reward is. Oh, they're not even here, bro. Hi, right, so we're here in Lawak City. We're about to hit the uh, Lawak the, the City uh, workshop. Uh, meet the kids and the next generation are here, so uh, we'll see how that goes. Peace. Let me see. Touch the body. What meaning? Yes, remaining. Seven point feet. Yeah. Attention, dun sa mga selected youth na kakanta para sa Grand Prix Membership together with the band will be having a meeting right now. So please, punta na kayo dito. So, uh, I remember some of you guys, some new faces, and uh, I see you guys for two years already. Um, first time on the tour, I think it's, uh, 
it's a really good thing that we're out here, you know, getting the communities out here lifted. As in, like, having the newer generation, you know, b boying Because, <clears throat> like, the previous legacies that I haven't been on, personally, from what I've seen, is it's, like, growing fast. So, like, some cities that we've been to, you know, it's, it's still upcoming, but I feel like, you know, these kids, you know, got a lot of potential in them, so. Yeah, man, it's like, you guys gotta just see it for yourself. It's hard to explain, but, like, we have this tour here that, you know, comes out and teaches little kids and stuff like that to, to be, you know, the best, the best we can show them. So, yeah. Come on. I'm going to new image dito, siguro wala din yung scene dito sa amin kasi first of all, konti lang talaga yung nabibiboy dito nun tsaka hindi namin talaga nakakilala isa't isa so dahil sa new image, yun, may yun dito sa amin tsaka yung rumami kami tapos yun na hanggang ngayon, meron pa rin tapos nakilala din namin yung scene sa Manila nagigi-event na rin kami dun kaya ayun, thankful kasi may new image na pumunta dito Oh shit. <laughs> We're here at the bus terminal in Luwag. It's like 11 o'clock p.m. We're waiting for our overnight bus to Manila. And um, from Manila, we are off to Visayas for, for a jam. And yeah, so we'll see how this trip is. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. Hopefully I have the bathroom in there as well in, in the bus. Uh, but hopefully it's comfortable, hopefully we can knock out because we've been so busy teaching workshops. We just had one today at Robles Small. It was good, you know, taught a bunch of, ta actually taught two workshops today um, to kids and a very, very beginner class. So it was good, uh, very successful. So we're just tired, man. It's been, it's been a, we did a lot of work here out in uh, Ilocos Norte. 
What, what do you thought about? What do you think about the work here that we did, like with the with the the, the scene, the b-boy uh, scene? Yeah, man, we've been making some progress. You know, uh, I was here last, maybe four years ago, I think, 2014, and um, coming back, we've definitely visited a few more cities out here in the in, in the locos, which is pretty cool. Like began, I've never been. Uh, we went to Pasiquian, which is pretty cool, and um, yeah, the, the scene is thriving, man. Um, this, this legacy tour is definitely bringing um, education and motivation to the kids out there, you know, when they have nothing. So it's been dope, man. It's been dope meeting new people and uh, connecting with uh, all the b-boys out here, and um, yeah, just sharing what knowledge we know with the uh, Pinoy b-boys and b-girls out here. So yeah, looking forward to uh, definitely looking forward to the trip to Visayas. So it's gonna be dope. And, um, and uh, yeah, stay tuned for the World Finals coming uh, next week. So, should be interesting. Peace. Cabana, bro. Uh, two bedrooms that fit ten guys last night. <laughs> Here in where are we at? Uh, we're at Antiki uh, Ilu Ilu. Okay, I'm Vega Ayumi from Japan, Bali Camper, and Vega Nanumi. Uh, big shout out for skills. skills for this, this weekend. weekend. Yeah. Yeah. See you there. Yeah. <laughs> Come to uh, this event down here. <clears throat> Check it out, you know. How uh, hot it is, man. How hot it is. Man, it's 14 right now. It's, uh, look, look at the sky, man. It's like no clouds. It's the last jam that is being thrown of its kind, so I'm happy that I won at least the last installment. So, yeah, it's a great experience. Okay, uh, that's why we need to teach some other guys, um, new G's so that they can represent 
before uh, uh, they can represent our crew later on because we're getting older and without them without them they can represent they, they, the the culture is fade yeah yeah we're heading back to manila going back to manila what are you eating man what are you eating man what are you eating man oh some freaking good ass freaking stir fry loco moco yeah. and we're in where we in where we at where we at we're in the airport Yo, Jay Funky. Yeah. What you got there? Championship belt, one first place. <laughs> and DK, one yeah. on one. Can't wait to take this home. I got another one from Skills, so <laughs> add it to the collection. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was dope, man. Experience here in Iloilo, Hanai, Visayas was uh, definitely a, a good one. Um, we went to the Intensity uh, Jam. It was a full day. <laughs> of just dancing and meeting new people, meeting new friends, vibing out, battling, ciphering. There's, you know, all, all types of dancing that was happening and uh, it was good, man. Got to vibe out, party. We we had a, a little like getaway at the beach um, and it was cool. We just hung out, you know, and just uh, made a bunch of uh, new, um, new stories. So. Uh, yeah, man, I can't wait to go back to Manila for the finals this uh, Saturday, so it's going to be dope, man. Stay tuned for the battle. Should be exciting, man. It's gonna be a lot of good competition today. Got people from all over, international and local talent. So yeah, it's gonna be tough today, but you know, it's gonna do my thing and uh, just have fun. You know, it's all about having fun and vibing out with the homies. So yeah, man, stay tuned for the battle. It's gonna be sick. Legacy 2018, man. Peace. Hello, hot. <laughs> Burning it. It's still morning, right? Yeah. Just got here. It's super hot right now. The, the, the venue. We're here early to set up. Uh... Here you go. We're here in Marikina. It's about 10 a.m. Um, we're here kind of early to set up everything. Set up for a jam, and it's probably like 100 degrees already. So we can imagine um, how the day is going to go by. It's going to be really tiring but really exciting. We're here at the Fiesta of B Boy. For me, Skills is the best uh, event here in the Philippines. Here, they they, they make the, the event at the streets, like basketball courts. It's really awesome. It's really hip hop, hip hop thing, and um, it's free for everyone. They they didn't get some registration fee or whatnot. Yeah. It's free. They they make this event for for everyone here in the Philippines.
do. No question about it, man. See you next year, Clip. And don't stop. New Image Production, thank you to having me there. Uh, appreciation to the skills because, you know, everybody must, everybody uh, enjoy it. Maybe. Really don't. And thank you. Congrats to everyone. I like it. I like the vibe. Yeah. Where are you from? I'm from Saudi Arabia. Oh wow. Yeah. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much. Yeah. So five years before I got this belt, huh? Feeling good. So uh this year's skills, the energy was off the roof. It was tight. Um, you know, every everybody has a lot of has improved a lot since the last time I saw them. Um, I think skill is very you know very fun and every year we have a skill and that B boys is ready to you know, rock you know that and just like that. Amazing journey is about to come. Legacy swell. Doing this. Uh, really excited, really nervous as usual. But What's up? It's amazing. From Hawaii. Chilling with Brandon and Cliff. Legacy Tour 2018. Um, yeah, we're on our way to the Philippines, you know. We almost missed our flight. We're here at Guam. Why? Why? Because I was eating and was hungry. So how was the ride, guys? Damn, that was a long ass ride. <laughs> I feel like shit. That's a... <laughs> <It's high food. laughs> oh my god. I was, I'm so intrigued because it's like a, a one-time opportunity. You know? Anybody can come to the Philippines, but not everybody can come to the Philippines on a, on a break dancing tour. Shout out to New Image Productions the whole Filipino scene, to everybody that I've met so far, I'm gonna miss you guys, until next time, alright? Jay Funky, out. Alright, the champions leave in the building. I walk the thin line, don't know what's right or wrong Things trouble in my mind, people trying to act strong For all the wrong reasons, feeling shades like seasons You're getting hostile, trying to put down a style With a flow that you know is pure and natural Damn, people try to stop me for my things But for what they know, I'm the undisputed king So get up, get up, or get beat down Cause my flow is strong from all around N to the E, W, I, M, E, G, E With the power from above Rock this party and I'm rolling on the west side. G sound in my G rap. Bowling on the east side. And I'm the G double O F Y. And you image is flying high. Rolling in my ride, checking out the moon in the sky. Music is making me high, so high, so high. Rolling in my ride, checking out the moon in the sky. And this music is making me How we do it? I come straight up and meditate like a Buddhist or Catholic Christian. No matter the religion, knowledge is a key to start my ignition. Cause I can get around it like the Lennis Morris said. You could do with this, or you could do with that. Invisible rapper from Hawaii's on track. Staying true to my lyrics, non-fiction. Cause I'm the Filipino with a new creation. Pure Filipino with a touch of Spanish. So pass me the mic as I do some damage. It's the APUAN. Center of attraction, kicking it smooth with a little tug of passion. Don't sweat my technique, cause that's so obsolete. I'm one of a kind, and I'm so 
unik Rolling in my ride, checking out the moon in the sky Music is making me hot, so hot, so hot Rolling in my ride, checking out the moon in the sky And this music is making me so hot Just like 316, I can get stone cold So kick back, relax, and watch my plans unfold I used to be a wannabe, but now I am he The man, the maestro, the man you wanna be Y'all out there know I'm sublime Now I'm finished, done, and that's the bottom line